And since I set this up the night before, sometimes it's as much a surprise for me as it is for you. Maxim number 56. The more limited a person's options in the sexual market, the laxer his or her mate standards. And what he's saying is, and this does go both ways, actually, for men and women, because usually almost all this stuff is aimed for men. But a person's options in the sexual market will become less stringent the tighter the market is. Like, um, best example is um, a guy goes into the military. He's used to, used to banging girls that are basically like sevens, you know, a, a more attractive than average woman. And, and he doesn't really like or get excited by women that are not pretty or not physically ideal, uh, not his type. But then he's in the military for six months to a year. All of a sudden, the girls that are like fours, fives, even sixes, um, begin to look acceptable. Like he sees fewer women. The women he does see tend to be more masculine or more average or below average, especially in, in like facial uh, beauty. And then over time, because of the limited options in that sexual market, he pretty much just starts going out with a five. And it's not like anything that he's done before. And it literally, it almost rewires the brain. Now, when you put him back into an environment where there's more options, you put him in San Diego, you put him in Florida. Um, and even though it's a military town, there's more options. But if he's in the middle of nowhere or he's deployed and it's almost all military, it's especially like in the Middle East, it's his options are very limited. Therefore, his his mate standards have to go down, whether you like it or not. And you really do naturally adapt to these things. It's not something that there's a lot of conscious thought because it's it's nature versus nurture. Um, but again, that's that's how it works is and you do see you do see a lot of handsome men with very average women in places that there's a limited number of women san francisco is a good example where you have handsome men unattractive women and you can flip it to like new york city where there's a plethora of attractive women and not enough men to go around so the men will be able to go up market and date women that are better looking than they would normally date because they are a limited source. Girls will also have to date down slightly, whether they realize it or not, as opposed to an environment where there are a, a there's a shortage of women. So again, a lot of this stuff is literally supply and demand. And it's easy to recognize the more limited a person's options in the sexual market, the lower or laxer his or her mate standards are. Again, that's where you'll see environments that I always kind of like point out that you'll see handsome men, unattractive women. These are environments where there's not a lot of attractive women to go around. Um, some guys will opt out, like, especially if it's short term, they're like, I'd rather not date anyone than date someone below my standards. And women are notorious for saying this, but doing something else. Because again, as women get older, their, their list of demands goes up. But when you actually see who they go out with, it's very much, it's the same over time. So you'll, you'll see uh, what they say, what women say they'll opt for, and then what they actually settle for or who they actually go out with are normally two very different things. And that's, that's par for women. But again, just know, and it's not your fault. If you get into a market that is limited, a smaller town, um, you, you go overseas, you're working in a certain industry where there's limited women, um, your standards will over time naturally, if you're not allowed to like get out in the wild or, you know, go into town will 
become looser? Like what is attractive and literally like hardwire, like what's attractive to you will actually kind of like drop a couple points and you'll be like, Jesus, I've never, you know, she's not that attractive, but I'll do it right now. Um, your options expand. The laxer your, you know, basically maximum 56, the more limited a person's options in the sexual market, the laxer his or her mate standards are. And that comes down to supply and demand and what's on the market. If you guys like um, this show, like, subscribe, comment below, or comment on uh, YouTube. I can't see anything on Twitter. But if you have questions, I'll do the absolute best to answer it during the broadcast. I'm not always the best at like reading and keeping you guys moving along because there's certain landmarks I want to hit, certain tweets I want to get out there. Uh, Mac Monkey says the big difference in women is mathematics class compared to anthropology or English. That is correct. You're you're if you want a lot of women go into marketing. It's where they're all they all seem to go, at least the attractive ones, because it's something they can do. If you want um, wife material, we always say early childhood education. You want girls that teach kindergarten, first, second and third grade. Really, elementary is good. But once they get into like junior high or high school, they're dealing with like more adult like problems uh, and puberty. And they'll usually come home completely destroyed and exhausted. But basically, it's funny because I've, uh, you know, we always say the elementary school or early, early elementary education majors tend to be end up being the best wife. That's all I remember of like my elementary education was every every semester. The, one of my teachers would say, hey, I just want you guys to know that I'm getting married next semester and I won't be back. So, you know, it's just it's a stepping stone to being a stay at home mom for most, most of these girls. Um, either that, or as soon as they get pregnant, then they stay home. So maxim number 56, the more limited a person's options in the sexual market lacks or his or her mate standards are. This is one thing.